find the reactions at the supports for these two distributed loads. The first thing we want to do is always, always draw a free body diagram. At the left, I've got a pin, so I have two forces in the x and y directions. At the right hand side, I've got a roller. That only gives me just the force up. I've got to include all of my distances, so I have a five meter beam, and I want to include on my free body diagram the equivalent point loads from these two distributed loads. My five newtons per meter acts over the two meter length shown, so that will be five times two newtons. That's going to act in the middle, so it'll act at one meter from the left hand end. The seven newtons per meter acts over the three meters, so that gives me seven times three newtons. That acts at one and a half meters from the right hand side, which leaves me two and a half meters in the middle. That's my free body diagram. Now I can write my equations of equilibrium. Some of the forces in x tells me that I have zero, ax is zero, ay plus by minus 10 minus 21 equals zero. And the sum of the moments gives me, if I take it at point A, 10 acting at a distance of 1 meter clockwise, 21 acting at a distance of 3.5 meters also clockwise, so let's add that together, and BY acting all the way at the end at a distance of 5 meters in the opposite direction. I can solve these, solve the sum of the moments to get BY is 16.7 newtons, AY, plug that back in, is 31 minus 16.7 or 14.3. And then you can answer the question. The reaction of the left hand pin is 0 newtons horizontally and 14.3 newtons up. The reaction of the right hand pin is 16.7 newtons also up.